What is going on guys? I hope you're having a great day, uh, staying happy and healthy. Today we're going to be talking about what you could be doing to speed up your process during editing, whether it's videos, photos, whatever you're doing as a content creator. I'll give you these five tips that will help you create your content a lot faster. Let's get started. I just want to start this off by saying these are my five tips of a faster workflow. Uh, you're going to find a bunch of videos on YouTube uh, listing off a bunch of different things. So my first advice would be you know, make your own list. Uh, look at millions, look at all of those uh, videos, go through all of them and make your own list of what would be the best thing for you. Number one, a hard drive. I have the lacy, rugged, it's it's probably the most used around most uh, creators either on YouTube or Instagram uh, it, the one I have is a four terabyte that to put in, uh, put in context my computer I don't even know how much my computer holds it's like I think 28 gigabytes this is a four terabyte that's I think it's a thousand gigabytes and a terabyte that's a lot it all it, it's holding all of my photos my videos everything that I've created in like maybe in the last year or so and it, and it still has a lot of space on it so if uh, so I'm using a laptop right now I have the uh, MacBook Pro with the touch bar it's uh it's great it's a workhorse but uh it I had a lot of videos and photos of like from like recent recent years on it so it really slowed down the processing. So having that hard drive really helped uh, speed up the process because there was not much RAM being used at, at, at all at once. Uh, number two, presets. Uh, whether you're doing a, a video or photos, you might come across using presets. What, a presets is basically like, say if you're doing a, a photo, if you're editing a photo, you're probably gonna use uh, filters for it. And uh, either, whether you're using a uh, RAW or Lightroom, they, they already have presets for you, but sometimes they don't really work well. Uh, usually a photo uh, needs some other type of... Usually the photo that you're editing won't work with any of the presets they have. So while you're editing, you can make your own preset and by the... Uh, what the way you do that is if you like if you edit the photo and you like how it looks you can actually save the, the editing settings so you can save like the the brightness you can save the the how clear the photo is uh, you can save the saturation of the photo you can save all of those settings and name that preset as a filter this is technically my number one tip for at, uh, for a faster workflow because it's probably the best um, but it's number three, <laughs> or four, three, four, I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's talking to people. You, like I said before, you might come across a bunch of people that have different types of lists, what, what they think is the best tips for you to have. And I, and I would say to that, you have to talk to other creators, maybe in your community, or just across other social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook, uh, see what they're doing, and I wouldn't say copy them, but you know, try to make, like I said before, try to make your own list. Number five, four or five, I don't know. It's also very, very important. Practice. You, <laughs> I know, I know, it's very, uh, it's a very underwhelming tip to. To end on but practicing is probably the only way you'll get better and faster with editing and just in general as a creator it'll with practice you'll be able to create the content in your head before even doing the actual shots like you're you were doing a shot the other day and it didn't work out as well 
I'm just gonna say this. Plan ahead. You might come across uh, a video idea in your head, but you don't know how to, uh, you don't know how to, you know, execute it. So, instead of trying to just wing it, and you know, you know, if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it, you know, you're kind of SOL. Um, what I would say is do like a little storyboard, uh, you know, take down some notes. Um, anything that will help you visualize what you're trying to achieve before you actually shoot the video or take a photo. This last tip, it's not really a tip, it's more like a hack maybe. Um, it's how to upload uh, your photos or, or videos uh, on Instagram from your computer. And to show you how, we're going to switch back to my office. Let's go. Alright, so first thing you're going to do once you get on, you be going to go on Google Chrome. I haven't found any way to do it on either Firefox or Safari. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this white space. You're going to hit, well, I'm on a MacBook, so I'm going to hit Control Click and inspect and then I know this looks a little uh, I know this looks a little weird and I look like I'm about to like hack Instagram right now but not really um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and it, where it says toggle device toolbar you're gonna click that and then you'll see nothing really happens until and then once you hit refresh you'll see this little plus sign right here. And that means you can add your photos from your computer. You hit the plus sign, you choose whatever, uh, whatever photo you want, and that's about it. You just go through all the filters if you want and put in all your tags and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and hit subscribe if you guys like the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.